Greetings, time for another video and uh, I'm going to talk about XYZ. Sounds very similar to X wisely and very true because if you want to find something you have to be humble enough to, to admit that you know nothing. It's called being honest with yourself. So everything comes in threes. You are past, present and future. You are, you are flesh and blood, you are a soul, and you are a mind as well. So just keep that in mind because I'm going to give you, give you an open invitation now. Who would like to engage in oral sex with me? Now most of you are only going to hear that on the way that advertising and the material word say that talk about that but let's take the word oral you have oral traditions we're not dealing with the lower part of the body here we're dealing with the heart and the mind the intercourse the reaction and the answers to everything is always yes no and possibly it doesn't matter whether you believe in a particular religion or whatever it happens to be you're both right and you're both wrong and possibly a mixture of both. Whatever it is in life, it doesn't matter. Um, it's when we start putting up these barriers between us, there is conflict. Intellect is all about the dark side. To know nothing is to know everything and the best place to find this light is when you hit rock bottom in darkness. Now, going back to the oral sex, let's talk about the word sex. What actually is it? S-E-X. Well, the X is a cross. That leaves S-E. So do I see a cross, a crossroads? Do I see a point I need to cross? Because we're not talking about the physical here at all, are we? So, if I say I'm inviting you to have oral sex with me, now what if it's a man? Does that make me gay? Does that make me bisexual? Does that still make me heterosexual? You can interpret that any way you want, and you can say yes, no, or maybe. It's the same with what do you believe? Do you believe in a, a higher force? No matter what you call it, some of what I say, you might think yes, that's. I agree with that. Some of you might think, no, I don't agree with that. Well, I welcome that because if you don't agree with me, tell me why. Maybe I've got something wrong. I'm not professing to say that I have all the right answers at all. Far from it. I'm exploring and looking at everything as best I can to come up with the answers. I mean, let's use another sexual reference. I'm using my tongue. I'm planting seeds in your mind, I hope. See, you can use your tongue in more than just the physical sex. You can use it in other ways as well. You can appeal to the mind, you can appeal to the heart as well, equally. Everything is a mixture. It's so easy to sort of divorce the three-dimensional materialistic but it's not so different. Do you even consciously think about standing up or running or driving a vehicle once you've learned how to do it? It becomes second nature. You don't even th have to think about it. And it's the same with anything. If you want to do right in the world, it's not learning chapter and verse. The devil is always in the detail. Keep it simple. There's a lovely line uh, from a song by Lincoln Park that says life will leave us blind but love makes us kind I mean how simple is that if we all love each other that doesn't mean leaping into bed at all loving with the heart and with the mind um, if someone's hungry like take for example these nationwide appeals for this or that charity people will put their hands in the pockets so why can't they do that the rest of the time? 
Why does it take some promotion that you need to follow something else? What is wrong with being individual? We're all made individual. We're not supposed to be uniform. We might as well be clones if we're all going to be the same. It's the same as your strengths and weaknesses. That is what defines us. It's whether you see them as a weakness or as a strength. Everything has a duality to it. I can look at numbers and shapes and things. I can see Illuminati symbolism. I can see things in numbers the same as the dark side. I empower it by how I see it. I can use a knife to, to butter bread or I can stab someone with it. Everything in life is a choice. When I invite you in, you choose whether you want to listen or not. There is a physical aspect because you have decided to listen, to sit down and listen to what I say. No one has forced you to do that. And this is the same with everything in life. You always have the choice. Look at uh, the X and X chromosome of women. Now, the X is, that's four points to an X, and there's two of them, so that makes eight. That's a symbol of infinity, of creativity, keeping the cycle going. Now, what about the XY? You have the four points. You have the 90 degrees. The why is the crossroads. Which way do you choose to go? That's what the X and Y chromosome in a man is. You choose what you want to do, but it doesn't mean that a woman can't choose either. Her cross with her ways of choosing what to do come from the middle, from the heart. There's the difference between men and women. With a man, it's slightly higher up. It seems to be, if you have the Y that way up, it, it's, it's in the vocal cords. Now, if you put two men together head to head, those two Ys form a diamond. You bring that straight line where there, was, where there was a choice of going one way or the other back together again. It's the same with two women. Two, the meeting of two minds, the two ends of those crosses come back to the middle again. It's a meeting of minds. It's an interaction with two people. I do give two Fs as well. Because if you have opposing views, now if you imagine, let's capitalise on the letter F. If you have the F up the right way and you put one that is upside down against it, it forms the figure of eight. It's eternity again. It's, it's perpetual, it's immortal, it goes on forever. Well, that was a bit of oral interaction there, and I hope it has satisfied you. If not, I welcome your comments. Come and talk to me, ask me questions. If I don't know the answers, I will say I don't know. I will try and explain things, hopefully that will help you. It's only by asking questions that we're going to find these answers. Collectively, we have infinite more possibilities. And in everything, you have a choice as to which way you want to go. I choose to do what I think is right. No one is telling me, I must do this or I must do that. It's, from, it's my choice to do it and to spread this message. I have put a challenge out and I'm putting it out again to Satan that I can see through your plan, I know how, you, how the dark side works, I know how you deceive people. So I'm, I'm asking you to come to me as well. Come for me, because I'm ready. Because if you don't come for me, I will just keep exposing you, and by exposing your deception, you lose your power. You have no power over me. I will not accept that, I do not consent to that. But I will come after you and I will expose you and take your power away and you will lose your kingdom. I am your nemesis. Now I can do this alone if I've got soul family who, want, who, who wish to come along and stand with me against this evil, then that's fine. But whether, am I alone or am I all one? It doesn't matter 
I've already made that choice that I will take on evil and I will face it head on because I have no fear of it because I know it has no power. It is fear and doubt that holds us back every time. We create our own hell or we create our own paradise. We have the power of choice. We are far more than we are told we are. It's just understanding these concepts and how they work. It all does click into place. I'm glad of the experience I've gone through because they have enabled me and empowered me to see and recognize those signs in other people. And I can relate to them so I can help them. By going through this thing I went through yesterday while I felt at a really low point and thinking I might be having a stroke here has made me even stronger because it has made me aware that this three-dimensional material world is all ephemeral. It doesn't last forever. So while I'm here, I'm going to spend my time wisely and I'm going to try and make a difference. Nothing will be be would, would be better than to be able to talk to enough people and spread this message so every person holding a gun puts their gun down and says we're not doing this anymore I mean that would be wonderful I know I will know I've made a difference if I've achieved that a lot of people will say it's not possible to do well don't know unless you try even if I've achieved part of it I've still achieved something it's better than doing nothing by doing nothing we are consenting to the way things are and I don't consent to this evil in this world. It is about time it's changed. I'm not going to wait until the last animal goes extinct or the last human goes extinct. It's too late then. The time to do something is now. It doesn't have to be done violently. It's just changing our perception on the way we see things and the way we react. The way we act. If the world is a stage... You can be your own starring role, you can write your own script, you can produce and direct yourself, you can paint your own back scene, you can, you can set the stage any way you want. Because I am the director of this vessel. If it was Star Trek, I would be Captain Kirk, I would be the captain of the vessel. On the one side I would have Spock, who is the pure logic. His opposite, who will argue with him, is Bones McCoy, the doctor, who is saving lives. What is the point of having logic with no compassion? I need to be the balance between the two. I need to look at both sides of something and make an informed decision. It is that simple. All these things, that are, the devil is in the detail, all these things are put in place. You don't have to learn a religious book word for word, chapter and verse, and spend years and years and years trying to memorise all these passages and then try and fit them into a context of the surroundings in, in everyday situations today. It's just like learning to drive a car. It becomes second nature. If you do it all from the heart, it, it's not difficult. The illusion of the dark side is to make it appear more difficult than it actually needs to be. I've got two weapons. I am multi-armed. That can be interpreted into I have four arms, six limbs. No. I have a sword. It's a double-edged sword. It is my tongue. It is sharp. I also have Ockram's razor. Now these aren't physical manifestations as such. They're metaphorical. But you can see why so many other things, how why there is so much confusion because it is having the inner standing to under, to realize that um, some things are physical 3D, some things are metaphorical, some, some of it is astrotheology. By trying to make sense and put them all into one singular story, no, it's not going to work. It's multidimensional. It's different aspects of the same thing. Like if you were to all draw a picture of the same person, and you're all sitting in a circle around that room, you're all going to get a completely different view of the same thing. It's very simple. 
You'll see it one way, somebody else will see it another way. You just have to try and see it from their way and they need to see it from your way. Then when you come to some agreement, you'll both see the same picture. You'll get to the centre point. You're on the outside of the circle looking in because that is exactly what you need to do. Go within yourself because all the answers are there. Anyway, that's enough of me rattling on for today. And uh, please do put some comments um, whether you agree or whether you don't agree. I welcome it if you don't agree. Because, yes, tell me if I've said something wrong and I can go back within myself and think, well, how have I done that wrong? I'll listen to what other people have said to me. I'm not going to get offended at all. I take on board what I take on board because I am a vessel and I am a captain of this vessel. And with this new information, I will modify and adapt that this message I'm putting out, if there is a better way to do it, then I would love to know about it as well. Thank you.